Hello and welcome to Jackie's Proof Animals Have Souls and Psychics show produced through Passionate World Talk Radio, a subsidiary of Global Media Network. Today I have Pauline Mary Oliver with me and I'm glad to um, have her and share her experiences with listeners. So welcome Pauline. Pauline can be contacted on, as, on pmoliver47 at gmail.com. Now, Pauline was born in Liverpool, England, Liverpool of Beatles fame. And Pauline has relatives in the USA, including in New York State. Pauline worked in insurance and banking for over 30 years. But when a friend said to her, she goes to a spiritualist church, Pauline asked, please take me. Pauline had lost her husband John around that time and so began Pauline's journey into spiritualism, which to date is approximately 26 years. However, Pauline is a natural medium who's had experiences of spirit people and spirit animals since a child. And Pauline, we're lucky to say, is happy to share some of her lifetime of mediumistic experiences of spirit people and spirit animals with listeners. Now, just before this um, radio interview, Pauline was telling me that she's had an experience of an angel. So I would like to ask Pauline if she'd like to share that with you, um, of her experience with the angel, about the size of the angel and the colours involved and what it was made of and was there anyone with the angel. So Pauline will give you some information about her experience of an angel. Hello to everybody. Um, yes, I did see an angel and it was quite a long time ago now, but um, I was just sitting in my lounge having a break and um, it was a lovely sunny day and um, a bright light came in through the window, white and yellow, you know, really strong. And then um, I saw this angel and my living room um, ceiling is about eight foot high and I didn't see the face but the light was blinding. Um, I think the head must have gone through the ceiling and um, the wings were like a creamy white feathers and um, I didn't see the angel's feet. It was about... Um, six inches off the floor you know um just like a white robe and um there was a smaller figure of about six foot or less um it was just very misty with uh, like a mop of dark hair and i thought that might have been my husband when he was younger anyway um i felt the whole experience probably only lasted seconds and um, when they disappeared, I shouted, come back, but they didn't. And it's quite a long time ago now, and they still haven't um, re-emerged. I would love to see them again. Thank you. So the angel didn't reply, it just disappeared. Just but disappeared, If yeah. this was some years ago, then it obviously made a really big impact on it you. It did, yeah. For you to be remembering it in such detail today. Um, and you said it had feathers, feathers and absolutely. wings as well, <laughs> and it was even bigger than your living room, mm. and appeared with all that light. Um, and you say it lasted for seconds. So, do you now believe in angels? Well, I do. You know, they even get me um, car parking spaces. I ask them for everything. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel after your experience, you know, just me immediately after it? Um, I felt let down they didn't stay longer or, you know. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, Pauline was saying to me just before the interview that most nights around about three o'clock in the morning, her father wakes her and visits her. And her father passed a spirit some years ago. And also during the night, if she ever goes down the dark hallway in her home... Um, because she can't always reach the the uh, switch for the light. When she's walking along in the darkness, uh, she gets flashes of light so she doesn't fall over her grandchild's toys because the hallway's got lots of children's toys there 
And she said it's spirit seemed to put these flashes of light out so that she doesn't have an accident. Pauline, would you like to tell me about your experience with your father in spirit? Well, um, there's been numerous um, times when, you know, I felt his presence. But the clearest one was um, 30 years ago when I was ill in bed. Um, he just appeared right next to me like um like you really you yes. know um, as, as as real as you or i so real yeah and um what was I he just, wearing he, well he was wearing um a gray outfit a gray um v-necked lamb's wool um jumper and shirt and tie which you always wore and dress and um it was all grey except for the um, his eyes around the um, edge of his um, eyelids. It was red. That's interesting. It is. It is Did interesting. That show I emotion, never really figured that out, really. But would that uh, be emotion that he was happy to see you? Do you think it, it could be? Um, I just sort of. That's the only colour in mm-hmm. it, and um, anyway, I didn't know whether it was. I'd just seen him, but whether I was dreaming, because um, as he was walking away, um, he was on my mother's stairs walking away. So the image changed from the him yeah, yeah. manifesting virtually yeah. as clear and as real as yeah. you or I in grey. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden you're saying he was on your mother's staircase. That's right. And, um, and I said to him, don't leave me, you know, come back. And he's. He's, I don't know if he said it with his own words or whether it was just impressed on my mind. Yes. Yeah. Um, he said, I can't take you with me this time. Oh, that's nice. And um, yes. he went. And after he went, I was thinking about it, he'd had heart trouble. And um, the doctor had said, don't wear heavy clothes, you know, wear lightweight yes. clothes. Yes. And we always bought him um, a lamb's wool jumper because they don't last forever. You know, yes. every Christmas he got one yes. in different colours. Mm-hmm. And then I realised he's never had a grey one. So he was wearing the grey one to show you he's got yeah. a grey so, one now. So I just thought, yeah. I've seen a ghost uh-huh. <laughs> or a spirit. Yeah. So he woke you and he was as clear as day, but you had yeah. many experiences, but that's the one where he was almost in a really? phys- physical he, manifestation. Yeah. Could have been anyone yeah. that but was you, alive today, yeah. you know, that sort of... You uh, hear of that, that some mediums see them as clear mm, as you and I. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gordon Higginson used to tell me that, mm. um, but we'll talk about that another time. Mm. Um, it's interesting... Because my nana, um, after she had passed to spirit, we found a little handwritten note that she'd written before she'd passed. And she was telling us, I asked them for a little bit more time. So she was obviously seeing spirits before she passed. They'd have been comforting her and having reunions with her. And she asked them for a little bit more time. Well, I lived in Scotland then, in Glasgow then. And I was driving down from Glasgow to see her. And my mum had moved from being local to her to the Manchester area. And my mum was driving to see her. So my Mm. my nana was obviously aware of that. And she'd asked them for more time. And the message I'd got from my granddad is she's slipping away. You need to be quick. Um, And I was on my way anyway um, because... um, Sween MacDonald, the Highland seer, seventh son of the seventh son, had told me it's time to go and see your gran again. I said, I've only just got back. And he said, it's time to go and see your gran again. And that's what I was doing. Mm. So that was interesting. It was. So um, you also mentioned earlier about, uh, to me before the interview, about your cousin who was terminally ill with cancer. Yes, yes. Um, This was a younger cousin. And... um, She was terminally ill um, during the lockdown, um, the first one. Um, And um, one evening, uh, I knew she was in a hospice. And um, one evening, um, her mother and father appeared in my house. And they were my uh, godparents as well. And um, 
I was very close to them when they were alive. And um, the two of them show themselves when they were pretty young and when I was young, you know. And, um, so and in I, their prime, really? In their prime, yes. yes. And I'd forgotten what a handsome couple they were. Mm-hmm. He was so handsome, tall and black curly hair. And um, her mother was um, only up to his shoulder. And so pretty and slim, you know. Mm, and um, Quite a petite lady. Yeah. And you um, saw them in spirit. Yeah. And whilst I was delighted to see them, I thought, oh, they've come for Mary. Because She'll it's... go tonight, yes. you know. And, um, but as it turned out, um, she went a few weeks later. So, um, But they do say that spirit are out of space and yeah, out of time. Yeah. And, I and the thought, fact that they were around yeah, at that time. time. Yeah. Well, I thought maybe um, they're having a dummy run <laughs> to mm. get it right. Oh. I don't know. Well, perhaps they'd but, been comforting her yeah. and perhaps Mary, your yeah. cousin, had been seeing yeah. them. But I miss them all. I really do. You know, they're a lovely family. And and her brother died during the lockdowns with cancer as well. Oh, that's a shame. But, um, yeah, so that was... Uh, he was older than her, but that was... Um, only a year apart, really. That's sad. Yeah, yeah. sad. Do you isn't think it? there's more people who see things such as spirit people and spirit animals than let on about it because they know that they'll be uh, classed as ridiculed, strange? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah ridiculed, ridiculed is probably the better word. Yeah, I'm sure they are, there are, and um, in fact, you know, I, I've realised there are when you mention things to people and they say, oh, I saw my mother just before she died. And, yes. And I knew she died, you yes, know. Yes, beforehand. And, um, yeah. Um, this sort of thing. People do get, um, mm-hmm. you know, warned of what's coming, I feel. You yes. Know? Yeah. Um, when did your spirit, ex- well, experiences of spirit begin? Um, well... When I was about six or seven, I think. I'm not right. really so sure really of the age. Child, yeah. yeah, But um, I used to see people in my room and I was terrified of them. But now I feel they might have been past relatives that Who you I just didn't, didn't know. Could yeah. well have yeah. been. And what um, did your parents it was, say about it, it? It was always a woman and two men and they were um, dressed in like those long... Um, Max, you know, a gabardine Max, like that was the fashion at the time. And um, they they never spoke to me or I never thought I could ask them anything. And um, I was just terrified of them, thinking, what are they doing in my room? Mm-hmm. And I'd shout into my mum and dad in the next room, you know, um, can I put the light on? And they'd say, no, get to sleep. And... Um, and then I'd say, there's people in my room. They say, don't start that again. So it must, it must have happened quite a bit. Yes. <laughs> and um, I'd be under the blankets trying to hide them. And, um, uh huh. That's interesting. You know, it, it's sort of, I wish I knew now who they were. And you also um, were saying that you sometimes, uh, you've had experiences of dogs and cats in spirit. And you mentioned Mott. Mott Would you like yeah, to tell us about yes. Mott? Yes, I was in a Liverpool uh, church and um, the medium came to me and said, um, Mott, there's a dog called Mott here and he just wants you to know that um, his leg is now better. So it's an unusual that, name for a dog and if, for a medium to pick yeah, that they, up and they, to give you that in the church. They travel a lot, they travelled a lot, so probably... Yes. You know, um, and Mott they picked passed. the name. Yes. But um, maybe a foreign name, do you think? I think it may have been Swedish or something. They like that sort of holiday, you know. Uh huh. And, um, and, and he's cats. a beautiful dog, and I was always playing with him. Okay. Uh, have you ever had any experiences of spirit cats? Yes, I have. The two cats that we lost with leukemia. Yes. Um, they uh, were shelter cats, and the, the, the vet said he, they must have had the disease before he injected them against leukaemia. And um, they come back occasionally. And how do they show themselves? Well, as cats or yeah. as orbs, or how do you see them? No, I saw two orbs, a white one and a yellow one, roll across the carpet towards the um, fire. 
and I just knew it was these two. <laughs> and um, thank you and very the, much. Oh, right, yes. Um, sorry to cut you off there because but time has run out it, yeah. and perhaps we can have another chat again about yeah. your experiences yeah. and you mentioned recently seeing um, um, a spirit child and a spirit father in the orthodox church but yeah. you felt you shouldn't tell anyone yeah. because they might not like to hear that yeah. thank you very much Pauline and um, thank you listeners and we'll hopefully get Pauline back again thank you <laughs>